Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today I'm just giving you an, another update on how my Eden season is going. So we're at the, actually now at the start of week six. Uh, so it's nine days, nine or ten days since I did my last update video. So just to kind of give you an idea of where I'm at in terms of my personal development and also the guild development at this stage of the season, uh, I'll just run through kind of all the different uh, matrices and, and kind of attributes that I've been working on and what we've been working on. So first off, in terms of tile levels and my loyalty, I did hit 8,000 loyalty last night, so I can take level 16 tiles without uh, them being poisoned. I have been taking level uh, 16 tiles for the last four days, even when they were poisoned. Um, I lost about 40 million power uh, swapping over my tiles, but that's okay. And I'm, I've still been swapping over today. So if we come kind of look into the territory section, uh, I'm currently in the top 20 for influence ranking uh, because I have switched over nearly all of my tiles. I've got a couple of level 15 tiles and a level 9 tile that I'm sit my castle's sitting on, uh, plus this also this just empty plot. Um, I could, like, a little trick you could do is I do have two level 16 tiles side by side. You could move your pad to those four and then uh, teleport over there so that you're you've just got you would be you know then freeing up those other four tiles to level up to level 16 if you were desperate for uh getting as high a influence value as possible um it's not like really a key goal for me to be honest um i've also switched over started to switch over some of my tiles because uh, in terms of producing uh the materials i do have some points on uh, green up that are giving me extra materials for those tiles so I've started um, just increasing the number of crumbling mines and half burn logging sites that I have uh, just so that I can be accumulating a bit more of the materials for them uh, so that I can then like get ready for when I swap over my tiles uh, in the coming days. My plan for this week in terms of uh, loyalty I want to get up to 8,600 loyalty if I can uh, then I would um, do my points reset uh, which you want to do towards the end of the season so currently I've uh, I've also gained an extra specialty point I'm up to level 71 now and I did put that again into green middle which is giving the extra honor gains after you upgrade your honor structures so what I'll potentially do is hopefully by Saturday or Sunday of this week I will reach 8,600 loyalty and then I can, um, I will reset my points and what I will do is I will just, I will just go up to this second node here of United Research. So it will still be giving me 600 extra loyalty so that I can take level 16 tiles next week, but it will also free up 22 points from this section. I'll keep my extra processing queue and then Going into green, I will use 4, 9, 12, 17, and then 20, and probably 22. So this will give me a reasonable amount of um, construction or, uh, in terms of the extra percentages gained from the honor um, upgrades for the buildings. That's what I'm aiming to do because towards the end of the season, you want to be upgrading your workshops and your fortresses uh, so that you can gain as much honor from those upgrades as possible. And that will then give you lots of honor points for hopefully leveling up a few more levels on your specialty because the more specialty points you have, uh, basically the more dangerous, the, more, the stronger your account is going to be all of the time in this game. It's absolutely key. In terms of my honor structures, where am I at? Well, my frontline workshop, I've got this leveled at level 15, and then one at level 12, and then two at level 11. Ideally, to so that I could produce, be processing materials quicker, I could do with these workshops being a couple of levels higher, but I'm just holding off because I really, the more upgrades you do before you switch, reset your points so that you're getting those, uh, that you're putting your green points uh, to get the extra honor obviously you're losing out on that benefit the more uh, upgrades you do to your workshops before you swap your points so i'm just holding off basically at this level at the moment for my coalition base camps coalition base camp one is at level 20 finish coalition base camp two is at level 19 level uh, number three is at 16 number four is at 13 in terms of the amount of materials needed 
I'm around the 4.2 4.2 million, 4.6 million. So it does take quite a long time. Uh, you're talking about like one upgrade a day, basically, uh, which is pretty tough. And then on my assault fortresses, I've upgraded one to level six, the others are level three. Guardian fortress, one's level five, the others are level three. Again, these do give a lot of points for upgrades, but they need a lot more material. So you, I mean, anyone that is upgrading these to max is doing an amazing job during their season. So personally, I've just never managed to do it. Um, but that's where my buildings are. In terms of the season as well, um, on the quest, I have completed the 100 tile quests um, for the quarries and the farms. I've just, I'm just working on finishing the 50 tile quests for the crumbling mines and logging sites. And then I'll just have the 100 tile quests left for those. Um, because I've already got my base camps up to level 20, I've just got the uh, workshop, which again, I will start, I'll finish that next week. And Assault Fortresses, I'll upgrade them as much as I can. Obviously, when you complete these tasks, you get personal achievement points. And this season is the first season where um, in the season rewards, we've been lucky enough that we have had this activated for this season. So if you hit the 10,000 points, you'll get the S1 to S4 selection recruitment ticket, which will give you a random hero from the season that you choose. Uh, you get 10,000 gems, 30,000 honor coins. If you can hit 15,000 points, you'll get an SX recruitment card. So you can choose either the SX banner one or SX banner two. So it will be a random selection again, but and it will be one SX hero from nine. So, you know, if you're looking for a specific hero, you're not going to have a lot of chance to get it. But um, obviously, it's still another chance to get an SX hero. 15,000 gems, 50,000 honor coins, which is really nice. And then the gold on top as well, 10 million gold. Currently, I'm at 12,750 points. I will definitely finish this off um, before the end of the season. We've still got 12 days till the end of the season. So um, I can do the tile quest that I've got to finish next week. That, that should be fine. Um, in terms of the seasonal challenge, so I'm currently level 34 quests. I've got the, again, I've got to finish the uh, frontline workshop level 20. Then we've got some enemy territories, which I'm going to have to do a lot of work on. because I've got to do a 50 tile and a 100 tile, but at least I can do those at the same time. And then I think this is definitely a change to last season. In previous seasons, we had challenges where in the last two weeks, we had to take 90 tiles of each tile type. And it seems uh, last week we had this 60 tile challenge for quarries. And then on uh, yesterday, we ended up picking up this uh, 60 tile challenges for farms, the logging sites and the crumbling mines. Um, usually... A, a logging site and a crumbling line challenge would be one of the challenges in the last week of the season and you'd have to take 90 of each. Also, you would have to do 100 enemy territories in the last week of the season as well. So the fact that they've come this week is different. The other thing that was different was um, we also had a, a Occupy one level 16 territory. I'm pretty sure last year that was in the last week the challenges for the last week and you used to have 11 different challenges for the final week of the season by the looks of this layout we're only going to get five challenges next week so which five they are we're just going to have to wait and see and if this is actually correct because um in previous seasons we would have a two million uh, a two million um influence rating tile you have a three million influence rating uh, challenge you would have um 200 tiles 300 tiles 100 training and um 80 level 16 tile challenges so what's going to happen next monday with these challenges i'm not sure currently what am i doing i'm working my way through doing these four different uh tile challenges um you can see i'm three quarters of the way there with the with the quarry because I've been swapping over my tiles to level 16 anyway. Same with the farms. Um, I will try and focus on doing as many of the crumbling mines as I can and then I'll just follow up with the logging sites when I get a chance. Um, obviously I do want to hit level 50 again on the elite challenge this season like I did last, last season. You get all these extra super recruitment tickets in the top ends of the level. A um, couple of thousand courage medals there at level 30 at 47 is nice. 
And of course you get the, because I've got the elite package open, I can get the crystal dragon, um, which will be really, really cool as well. Uh, the next key milestone for me will be this one, level 37, getting the 30,000 honor coins. And just looking at that in terms of honor coins, so because we have these guild missions this season, which uh, we've achieved the uh, top rating in each of the first five weeks, and now we're working on, um, you had to take 3,000 uh, level 14 tiles or above this week, which um, we've already done. And then next week it would be guild level, reach level 25. We're already at level 50. We have been for like nearly two, I think 10 or 12 days, maybe even longer than that. So we'll be getting the honor coins for that because we're accumulating honor coins um, through these guild missions now. I'm actually already got 230,000, um, which is really nice. And if we can stay in our current position, so looking at the actual guild position, um, we are fourth in the map and we're at 660 points. To be honest with you, we're not going to get more than that. Um, the three guilds above us are um, definitely more powerful than us. We're not going to be able to compete with them. As you can see, they're all going for at least 1500 points. Um, so we are kind of sitting at 660 and hoping we will end up with 600, um, which will be a good result because um, there isn't a massive difference between um, a thousand points and like even 30 points, to be honest with you. It's, as you can see, it's it's the honor coin. So if we do get um, 600 points, that'll be 80,000 honor coins. That's gonna be a nice boost. I could potentially get an extra SX hero um, recruitment opportunity with that but I would have to give up um, using some of my coins for Super Dragonite. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to, I'll make a decision on that on rewards day based on the heroes that I get. Um, so I'm gonna have several opportunities, but this is probably the set of rewards that I'm most likely gonna be getting. One of the SX hero tickets, a, a season one to four ticket. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet either. Um, I'll probably go season four, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then two elite recruitment tickets where you do have the chance to um, recruit. If we go, yeah. Where you do have the chance to get a S1 to S4 hero, but it's it's still a slim chance. Um, 30,000 gems, 80,000 honor coins, uh, looks like 20 million gold, and then 150 million resource bundle, uh, which is okay as well. Um, I'll be getting powerhouse rewards because in the guild currently I am ranked, I've dropped a couple of rankings, I'm down to 16th, um, but that's fine, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that to be honest, we're, we're full, um, so I'm in the top 7 or 8% in the guild and on the map as well, in terms of my tiles, you know, I'm in the top 30 or 40 players for that, um, so yeah, it's been a pretty good season, um, there's not, nothing else really to... Um, compare or, or discuss at the moment I mean next Monday I'll probably try and do a video just to confirm what those tasks are for the final week I think that's going to be useful because that seems to be something new and uh, yeah just in terms of what we're doing for the rest of the season we're all working on our personal challenges um, we're kind of at a neutral status in the map at the moment for whatever reason it's been quite a complicated map I think politically um with the diplomacy so um i kind of i don't i don't uh, get involved in any of that i let some of my other um friends that are in the alliance and the guild deal with those kind of things so um yeah that's that's it really guys for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have do pl please click on that like and if you are uh watching one of my videos for the first time or you just haven't done it already why not click on that subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notifications whenever i'm dropping videos on the channel which is daily and i'd be really interested to hear how your eden seasons are going if you have any questions or comments about the content of the video or how our, my season is going please do pop your comments down below guys and if you could please share my channel in your alliance chat province chat and for those of you in, in eden in your guilds chats that would be absolutely brilliant. If you use Line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord as well to communicate with your fellow players in the game, please do pop a comment or share in those groups for me too. That would be much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. That's it for now. I'll see you soon.